saw how he said it, KR. He was like, yeah, they're accusing me of using the lover boy method. And he was laughing. <laughs> and manipulating them with love. And he was laughing. So that's going to be his argument in the legal area, right? And the legal area is going to be him saying, yeah, but I never held anyone, made any, nobody do something against their will. Tate is a very intelligent person. You cannot deny that. He's a very intelligent, intelligent person and he understands human nature. Mm -hmm. But what he chooses to do with that, so in that sense, you get information that might be, when, when you try it out, it may, it may work. But what is he using the information for? Is he using it for something constructive? And in this case... The question will be whether or not what he's doing is illegal or not. But before we get to illegal, because illegal is basically what the law says. The law says if you do this and this and this, this is illegal. The law has determined what's illegal. But before you get there, there's another aspect that plays a role. And that's immorality. And maybe you can do something that, even if it's not punishable by law, because that's going to be the whole discussion, because you saw how he said it, KR. He was like, yeah, they're accusing me of, um, of uh, using the lover boy method. And he was laughing, <laughs> manipulating them with love. And he was laughing. So that's going to be his argument in the legal area, right? And the legal area is going to be him saying, yeah, but I never held anyone, made any, nobody do something against their will. However, if we're talking about morality. If a person, if a woman tells you she had four partners, including you, And that she was in love with you. Now, I don't know. I don't know the lady. I don't know if she really meant it or not. But clearly she wanted to be with him. Whatever the reason was. Maybe it was really love. Maybe it was money. Because some people will say, yeah, she was only into him because of his money or whatever. We don't know that. But even if that was the case. What you choose to do to purposefully try to convince someone to get in front of a camera and yeah do webcamming knowing that by doing so you will limit the person's chances in the future of getting a new job another job like that person i mean maybe administrative support somewhere but that person can never become or well never say never it's going to be very difficult for that person to climb up the corporate ladder very difficult for that person to become a spokesperson any for, ladder actually for something other than than of i mean you're and just and and he was getting 70 percent yeah 50 or 70 or something like that. so that if the if let's before we get to the immoral, it's if, if the illegal, legal or illegal discussion. That is not moral to make up stories just to you know put a, a lady in 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 uh, you know let let someone panic and and start doing things that she wouldn't have done in the first place, and it goes for the other way around, and that's going to be another discussion, Kr. Because same can be said, I use this example of a man, let's say a man is, is married and a woman, knowing that the, another woman comes and uh, knowing that the man is married and she starts seducing him. And the woman starts saying, oh, your wife didn't do this. Oh, I would have done this for my man. Oh, you know, and starts, and maybe it's a colleague. Planning, planning. Seeds. Planting the seeds, planting the seeds, planting the seeds. And 
knowing that the man, you know, knowing what it will do to the man. The man will go home the first time. The man maybe wouldn't take much of it, but the more time goes on, the more the man might think, hey, this wife of mine doesn't love me because as shall we call her Jezebel said or Lilith and, <laughs> which said, one they're both said, the same they said <laughs> because she would have done it and my wife doesn't do it so let's say at one point the guy decides to leave the lady his, his wife to get with Becky but Becky was playing was playing game Who's on him name? what did you say who's Becky the third oh, where, where, where she goes, she has various aliases. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So Jung is also an alias, but the more the more the more dude, what the heck did you please continue? <laughs> the more what the heck was that? The more the oh the, the more Let's say the woman games, the woman tricks him into leaving the wife, knowing that they have children, knowing what the pain will be, but not caring for that at all. On a legal aspect, you can argue that lady can also say, but I didn't force him to come with me. It's his responsibility, it was his choice. Yeah, I talked to her. I told her what I thought. Yeah, I did make up a lie saying that I saw the wife somewhere when I didn't, but I have nothing to do with their relationship. <laughs> hey. And people might say, yeah, but it's the man's fault. And those are two separate things, right? Those are two separate discussions. Two things can be right. Two things can be right simultaneously. It's not either or. Yeah. While you might say that it was the man's fault that he decided to leave his wife because he fell for what the, the fell for the game of the lady. It was this lady was still acting immorally for what for for manipulating the man. Will the woman go to jail? No, because that's what she did wasn't necessarily um, punishable by law. Yeah. yeah. But it's still immoral. Now, in the case of Andrew, to go back well, there... One aspect you forget is that in that manipulation, he might have probably already forked a lot of money to her before it came to the point of leaving his wife and kids. Which is also brings out the aspect of investment, tinder, investment, tender, swindler ish yeah. situation. But continue. Yeah. yeah, I mean there are. I mean there was a whole Netflix series about a dude called the Tinder Tinder swindler. Well, I've known swindlers f since I was in high school, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, what was but, it? But let's let's continue. The thing <laughs> you got That's swindled okay. for ice cream. Oh man, let me. No, oh, man. Let's, I don't want to talk about it. Let's continue. I'm. 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 But but the but, trauma. but 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 this is but this is let's say this is. So I, I made an example. I just so first of all, I wanted to just make a clear distinction of what is immoral and what is illegal. Right? If you cheat, you go to court. And you tell the judge, yeah, um, I cheated. Depending on where you are, the judge will say, yeah, but I don't care about that. Do you want to stay married or not? Okay, then you're divorced. Yeah, cheating is not wrong. It's it's immoral because he promised that he wouldn't, but he did. But we're just here to do the legal. Yeah, de depending on which jurisdiction you are. But in the case of Tate, he is being accused of serious crimes. Specifically, human trafficking. And that is a difference. And we will need to see, uh, because I don't know, 
the intensity to which, so we will look at what he did, the intensity to which he did it, did he convince people to fly over with that plan? Did he do it? Is it was it a one-time thing, thing or did he do it continuously? And KR, if the prosecutor can get people who work with him or people of his team to snitch on him, then it might have negative legal consequences for him. But whatever, whether, whatever the legal result may be, by the texts we saw in the videos, it does seem very immoral and unethical uh, what he did. And it, it's not something you do.